Hello my sweet goats, welcome to another video and look before I begin I just wanted to say wherever you're watching this from I just hope that you're incredibly swell. Uh, this here is the big five aspect skill. It is a test that's available on understandmyself.com. Normally it costs about 10 bucks. Uh, I got this uh, as a gift from a member of the community. Her name is Jess. She is a wonderful woman. She's a wife, a mom, just a great person to have around. Thank you so much Jess for providing me this test so that I can actually go and do it and share it with my viewers. Uh, the reason why I like doing tests like this is because they obviously provide a little bit more insight into 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 who I am so I get to understand myself a little bit better even though I'm pretty self-aware like I know my strengths and my weaknesses. It also is an excellent opportunity for you the viewer to, to understand me better. So you may love me more or you may hate me more regardless you'll have more information about me which is just quite wonderful. We're gonna go ahead and begin and I think they give us a little bit of warnings here. They say, uh, this, they tell you the format, uh, uh, you know, how many times you should take the test. You should only really take it once, apparently. And then uh, the conditions that you sur should surround yourself with. And they say, it is best not to take the test under conditions that will make you more self-critical. Uh, so, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm in front of a camera. Generally speaking, I'm pretty self-critical when in front of a camera, but I'm also pretty happy. So, it's just the way it is. If you're hungry, eat something first. This hunger will make you more negative and judgmental. Look, I'm fucking fat, okay? I'm hungry all the time, all right? It's... <laughs> I'm just fucking... I'm ready to eat all the time, okay? If you're feeling unhappier or more anxious than usual, which I'm not, which is great, uh, pick another time to complete the questions. If you are currently depressed or suffering from anxiety disorder, uh, comes and goes, but right now I'm totally good. If you're rushed, wait to answer these questions until you have time to think. I got time to think. We're good. We're good. It takes about 15 minutes to do this test, so it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I'm going to be heading down to the studio a little bit later. Oh, and by the way, you should probably know something, guys. This video isn't going to be too edited. It's really just going to be like a... We're going to go through. I want it to be raw. I want you guys to see me for me, you know? I'm not going to put in any kind of fucking funky titles. Say This is just a... Hey, this is, this is a video for you to understand better, okay? While I'm understanding me better. If you are likely to be interrupted or distracted, no, no, that's not going to happen. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Continue. Uh, the following pages contain a series of items describing characteristics that may or may not apply to you. For each item, please use the scale to indicate the extent to which you feel the item describes you. Next. Let's go. All right. Uh, seldom feel blue. Oof. Uh, I'm going to say... Uh, shit, man. I'm going to say... Uh, I'm, I feel blue often, okay, so, but I don't feel blue all the time, uh, but uh, I'm going to say uh, 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 it's, it's a two there, because I, I definitely disagree. I feel, I feel blue. I'm not interested in other people's problems. That's not true. I, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say uh, I, I disagree as well to that. Like, I definitely am interested in people's problems. Uh, carry out my plans. <sighs> I'm fucking bad at that shit, dude. I'm real bad at that shit. Make friends easily. Ooh, baby. Easy. Easy five. Easy five. I'm quick to understand things. I would say I'm, I, I would say I'm going to I'll put myself at a four there. A four. Get angry easily. <laughs> I'm going to give myself a neither disagree or dis, uh, neither agree or disagree. All right. Um, respect authority. I'm going to say neither agree nor disagree. Depends on who the authority is. Leave my belongings around. I'm going to say I strongly agree. <laughs> uh, take charge. Strongly agree. Enjoy the beauty of nature. Strongly agree. I'm filled with doubts about things. Strongly agree. Feel others' emotion. Strongly agree. Waste my time. Strongly agree. I'm hard to get to know. Strongly disagree. You can get to know me real easy, bro. You just need to ask questions and just not come at me fucking sideways, okay? Stop fucking with me, internet! <laughs> uh, have difficulty understanding abstract ideas. Uh, I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say dis disagree. Disagree. Uh, rarely get irritated. I neither agree nor disagree, because I definitely get irritated, but I don't... I try not to get irritated too often. Believe that I am better than others. Some people I definitely look at, I'm like, whoa, I fucking, I, I, I gotta be honest. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm better than them, but most of the time I, I, I keep that to myself. So I'm going to say neither agree nor disagree, okay? Um, believe that I'm better than others. <sighs> Honestly, I know. I, I, when I really think about it, when I really, really think about it, it it's like sometimes I, I, I do believe it. 
but a lot of times I like I think about where, where I'm at personally and I can definitely not say that I'm better than anybody because I'm just I'm dealing with a ton of shit on my own so it's fine like order uh yeah yeah I would say I agree uh have a strong personality strongly agree of course uh believe in the importance of art strongly agree feel comfortable with myself I'm gonna say I neither agree nor disagree. It just depends on wh where I'm at, you know? Like, in terms of my looks, I feel pretty comfortable about myself. In terms of my smile, in terms of how I'm, like, able to present myself, I'm comfortable. But in terms of, like, you know, where I'm at financially, where I'm at in life, I don't feel necessarily the most comfortable, and I'm not the most proud. Uh, I, I always, I, I, I have high standards for myself, and I, I feel like I haven't attained them. So I'm going to say that I'm not feeling comfortable with myself. Inquire about others' well-being. Strongly agree all the time. I gen generally try to find out if people are okay. I normally shoot my friends text to be like, "Hey, hope you're well," you know, which normally opens up a conversation whether they tell me they're not or not or or they are. Um, find it difficult to get down to work. I agree, agree, man. Keep others at a distance. Strongly disagree. I de generally try to bring people close. Can handle a lot of information. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can. I'm gonna say agree, but I'm not gonna say strongly agree. To because it can, I can get fucked up. Get upset easily. Neither agree uh, nor disagree. I mean, no. Actually, I'm going to say strongly disagree. Okay? Because I'm going to say disagree. Okay? Because getting upset easily is not, is not something to do. You can't just easily upset me. Hate to seem pushy. Oh, my God. Strongly agree. Keeps things tidy. Mm, neither disagree. Uh, neither agree nor disagree. My room isn't a mess right now. But... You know, things could be a little bit tighter, tidier. Um, lack the talent for influencing people. Relax, buddy. Strongly disagree. <laughs> Relax. Love to reflect on things. Yes, strongly agree. Especially when I fucking smoke weed. Holy fuck, do I get, I, I like get, I really reflect on things. Feel threatened easily. Strongly disagree. Can be bothered with others', others needs. No, no, no. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say disagree. Depends on what their needs are, but I'm gonna say disagree for the most part. Mess things up. No, I'm gonna say disagree. It's rare that I really mess things up. I mean, it's happened, but it's rare. Disagree, disagree. Reveal little about myself. Strongly disagree. Like to solve complex problems. I I agree. I do like to do that. That's a lot of fun. Uh, especially when you have a breakthrough moment, you're like, holy shit, I did it. It's one of the best things ever. Uh, and and especially if you're collaborating with other people and making that happen. Keep my emotions under control. Neither agree nor disagree. Depends. Uh, I mean, obviously, when I'm like overly overjoyed, I'm very happy and I, I'll laugh a lot. When I'm when I'm in a state of uh, when I'm really flustered, I'll laugh a lot. So I don't know. I, I I don't keep my emotions under control. But you know, I'm not like I don't go off the deep end. Take advantage of others. Strongly disagree. Absolutely not. Fuck that. Uh, follow a schedule. Strongly disagree. I don't do that. I wish I did, but I don't. I know how to captivate people. I would say strongly agree to that. Get deeply immersed in music. Neither agree nor disagree. I generally, whenever I listen to music, I'm always kind of thinking about something. So I'm not really thinking about the song. I'm not really with in tune with the song. I'm just more like just I'm in my own world. So I'm going to say uh, neither agree nor disagree. Um, I guess obviously that also depends on what people view immersion as i think that immersion is really just like you're one with the actual experience that's provided to uh, that's being provided to you so if you're playing a video game if you're immersed in the video game you're only thinking about the game you know if you're immersed in music you should only be thinking about the music uh, uh otherwise you're not fully immersed you're kind of thinking about other stuff at the same time rarely feel depressed I'm going to say ne neither, uh, l lately there's been depression. Like I've definitely been like, holy fuck. I don't feel like, I don't feel like getting up. Or I'm not doing anything right. I'm just the worst. So that's been happening lately. But then other times I, I have, I, I'm, you know, I could go on for weeks and it's just a great time. So, uh, I'm going to say neither agree nor disagree. Uh, sympathize with others feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Strongly agree. Uh, finish what I start. Fuck. Neither agree nor disagree. There's some things that I finish, uh, uh, like this video, for example. <laughs> I'm in the middle of recording it. I'm assuming I'm going to finish it because uh, I'm just going to put a cut in there. I'm just going to upload it. I'm just going to do a quick thumbnail, put it up. We're going to see it. It's going to be there. Uh, no edits. There it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, I finish what I start. 
Warm up quickly to others. Strongly agree. Absolutely. Avoid philosophical discussions. Strongly disagree. I love, I love this kind of discussions with the right people, of course. Change my mood a lot. Strongly disagree. I don't really swing back and forth. Avoid imposing my will on others. I would say, uh, I would say I strongly agree. I'm not bothered by messy people. Ag neither agree nor disagree. Depends on where I'm at, right? If I, if I'm, if I'm, you know, if, if I have to live with them, then yeah, I'm going to be pretty pissed. But if I, <laughs> if, uh, if they're just messy and I'm visiting their house, it's not a big deal. So neither agree nor disagree. That really depends. It's very contextual. Um, wait for others to lead the way. Neither agree nor disagree. Depends on what it is. Once again, do not like poetry. I'm going to say, uh, I agree. I, I don't really like poetry. I'm not a fan of it. I, I'm, I, I'm, I, I don't have the patience and modern poetry like today today's poetry like i'm talking about the shit that mill millennials produce today i'm just like what the fuck is this <laughs> what is this shit but back in the day yeah this is one uh poem that i really like called the glove and the lions and it's uh it's it's a good one i really enjoy that i really really enjoy uh that uh that 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 poem that was shown to me uh in my high school english class and um, my high school English teacher was one of the, the fucking best teachers ever. Like the level of education we received in terms of English, it was, was above, above, above high school standards. I would say that guy was sick. Worry about things. Yeah. I would say I strongly agree. I definitely worry about a lot of shit. I'm indifferent to the feelings of others. Strongly disagree. I'm not indifferent. I'm not indifferent. Don't put my mind on the task at hand. Um, I would say I agree. Yeah, sometimes that definitely happens. I'm always one. My mind's always wandering, especially when I got my fucking phone next to me. Rarely get caught up in the excitement. Strongly disagree. I get caught up in the excitement all the time. Avoid difficult reading material. Mm, I'm gonna say disagree. Depends. If there's something easier for me to read that that can get me to whatever information I need in a more efficient manner, I'll take that. But it's not that I. If it's something's a little bit harder to read, I'll just read it, man. It's like I. I, my reading comprehension skills are there. Uh, rarely lose my composure. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say agree. I'm gonna say agree. There's definitely moments where I get tilted. If you've watched me play Rainbow Six, you'll be like, "Holy fuck!" <laughs> I'm a completely different person. Rarely put people under pressure. Mm, neither agree uh, nor disagree. Depends on what is, what's going on. I'll put people under pressure if I feel like I need to, depending on the situation. But I don't like putting. I don't like imposing my will on people. But at the same time, like if we're in a I feel like I just can by by being by trying to be the best I can be when I'm in a team setting I end up like making people feel a little bit anxious and it may put them under pressure because I'm trying to be the best so they want to try to be the best and there's just performance anxiety all around I uh, want everything to be just right uh neither agree nor disagree I mean kind of but I mean I don't I don't know see myself as a good leader <sighs> Neither agree nor disagree. I don't really. I don't. I don't. I don't think about myself as in terms of a leadership aspect. I fucking hate leading. I mean, I can, but I just hate leading. It's just the worst. Uh, and uh, I'm. I'm good at. I'm. I've been decent at at being a quote unquote influencer, but it's like whatever, man. Seldom notice the emotional aspects of paintings and pictures. Uh, neither agree nor disagree. It depends on what it is, but. Uh, but uh, some some shit doesn't get me. But like some photographs can really move me. But I don't really. I'm not like, oh my god, this is such a moving photo. I'll never share a photo like that. I'll be like, oh, this is a cool photo, you know. But yeah, so I'm gonna say neither agree nor disagree. Um, I'm easily discouraged. Neither agree nor disagree. I mean, it really depends on the situation. Depends on where I'm at. Uh, but I don't really think so most of the time. But it happens definitely take no time for others i'm going to say disagree the reason why i'm going to say disagree instead of strongly disagree is because uh i definitely try to take time for other people it's just that sometimes i'm so wrapped up in my shit that i i you know forget to take time for other people especially my family cuz you you tend to ignore the people that you're closest to because you take them for granted get things done quickly <clears throat> strongly disagree i wish i think got things done quickly I'm not a very enthusiastic person. Strongly disagree. Have a rich vocabulary. Um, I, it could be richer. So I'm going to say uh, n uh, n neither agree nor disagree. I could definitely read a lot more. 
I'm a person whose moods go up and down easily. Strongly disagree. Insult people. I agree. <laughs> I definitely insult some people. Uh, I try to be nice about it, but I agree. I agree. I definitely. I'm not bothered by disorder. Uh, I'm going to say d disagree. I, I don't. Like, there's definitely disorder online. There's disorder everywhere. But I'm not. It's, I don't let it consume me. Uh uh, can talk others I uh, into doing things. I mean, I can, I can, I can, I'm going to say neither agree nor disagree there because, I mean, it really, once again, depends on where I feel like I'm at for that, you know, but yeah, you know what? I'm going to say agree. I can, if I really want to, if I want to talk you into something, want to convince you of something, pretty sure I can. I'm pretty sure I can do it. I'm not going to say strongly agree because I haven't, I'm not some fucking, uh, uh, you know, uh, some guy that can just do it all the time, but, but, uh, yeah. Need a creative outlet? Strongly agree. I'm not embarrassed easily. Neither agree nor disagree. I get embarrassed, but I just tend to laugh it off. Um, take an interest in uh, other people's lives. Yeah, I totally do. I'm going to say agree. Always know what I'm doing. Fuck no, bro. Strongly disagree. I fire from the hip so many times. Depends on what it is. Actually, I'm going to say disagree. Depends on what it is. If it's Twitter or something like that, or if it's social media, or if it's like, if it's like, you know, creating a post, yeah, I know what I'm doing, but, but I wouldn't say that I always know what I'm doing. Show my feelings when I'm happy a hundred percent all the time. Happiness are one of the, the first feelings I want to share with everyone. It's just like, that's, if I can make that the most profitable way to, to create content is just through happiness. That's the best thing possible. Think quickly, uh, neither agree nor disagree. Depends on the situation. I'm not easily annoyed. Uh, I said, uh, I'm not easily annoyed that they're asking same questions over and over again, which is so interesting. I always feel fucked up when I do these quizzes. I always feel fucked up because it's like, did I just answer the same question in a different way last time? <laughs> it's fucking annoying. I hate that they do this to me. I hate it. Asking me the same questions over and over again. I'm not easily annoyed. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say disagree. It's hard to annoy me. Actually, no, no, no. No, I'm going to say neither agree nor disagree. Because cause you can definitely annoy me. Depending on who you are, you can definitely annoy me. There's some people who definitely fucking annoy me. Whether I show it or not is a completely different situation, but I can get annoyed. Seek conflict. Fuck no. Uh, dis Yeah, fuck no. No, no. Dislike routine. No, I disagree. I really wish I had routine. Don't like it to be too routine. I don't want it to be boring, but hold back my opinions. Neither agree nor disagree. Depends on what it is. Really depends on what it is. There's some things I just don't want to get involved over because the people get that are involved are completely unhinged. So I just hold back and I just do my own thing. Uh, and because everyone's got an opinion and everyone's fucking saying things anyway. So things tend to expire really quickly on the internet. So I just hold back my opinions on some things. If it's really important to me, I'll say it. So neither agree nor disagree because, you know, depends on what it is. Seldom get lost in thought. Fuck no, dude. Strongly disagree. I, I get lost in thought all the time. Become overwhelmed by events. <laughs> disagree. Shit happens. I fucking deal with it. Don't have a soft side. Relax. Strongly disagree. I'm, I'm a fucking softie. Postpone decisions. Agree. I do that often. I'm like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, I'll do it today. Uh, maybe I'll do it later today. <laughs> well, it's never now. I'll do it. It's never. I'll do it now. I'll be like, oh, I'll do it in about uh, 10 minutes. I'll do it about five minutes. I'm always postponing decisions. In fact, strongly agree. I always fucking do it. I'm a fucking idiot. Have a lot of fun. Strongly agree. I definitely have a lot of fun, man. Learn things slowly. Mm, I'm going to say disagree. Depends on what it is, but, uh, but I'm going to say disagree. Get easily agitated. Easily agitated. I guess agitated is the act of like being physically agitated. I'm going to say, I'm going to say disagree. Depends on what it is, but I'm going to say disagree. Love a good fight. Depends what kind of fight it is. A good fight. What is a good fight? Is a good fight like one where everyone's both sides are kind of having fun? It's a good fight. Like we can walk away from being like that was a good fight. I'm going to say neither agree nor disagree because it depends on what it is. But uh, but yeah, a good good fight. That's like, a, you know, a, a good ad, uh, like a good a good matchup is always cool. You know, uh, I, I love having a good debate with someone that I give a shit about, you know, uh, see that rules are observed. Uh, yeah, I would say that. Yeah, people should know what the rules are. Of everything i think that it's just crazy it's crazy that some people just think that there's no rules to things there's rules and i know that you can skirt around those rules sometimes but those rules keep us in check i'm the first to act 
depends on what it is, but ne so I'm going to say neither agree nor disagree. Seldom daydream. Relax, bro. I strongly disagree. I daydream all the fucking time. I'm afraid of many things. No. I strongly disagree. I'm not afraid of many things. I worry a lot about st specific things, but not many things. Like to do things for others. Strongly agree. I, if, if, I, if I could spend a lifetime just doing things for people while making money, sounds good. Sounds fucking good, man. I love that. I'm easily distracted. Strongly agree. I get fucking like, uh, <laughs> just like, oh, what? <laughs> uh, laugh a lot. Yeah, strongly agree. Formulate ideas clearly. I could be better at it. So I'm going to say neither agree nor disagree. Can be stirred up easily. Stirred up easily, like baited easily. I'm going to say strongly disagree. Not really that easy. I'm, uh, uh, I mean, people try all the time. There's so many, there's so many fucking mentions that I see that are just fucking bullshit that people are trying to be like, what are you doing this? You doing this, Bunty? Hey, Bunty. Hey, Bunty. I see you did this. Huh? I don't give a shit. <clears throat> I'm out for my own personal gain. I uh, disagree. I don't want to just, I, I want to gain stuff. I want to, 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 to make a living. I want to be wealthy, but I don't want to do it alone. I want to do it with people. Want every detail taken care of. Disagree. Disagree. I mean, uh, I want all my ducks in a row, but but I don't I don't want to I don't want to fucking I don't need every detail taken care of. Do not have an assertive personality. I'm gonna say disagree, man. I definitely have an assertive personality. You guys know that. You guys know that. See beauty in things that others might not notice. Strongly agree. Yeah, definitely. I see qualities in people who uh who people normally despise that are 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 positive traits, and I point those out so that people can pick up on those positive traits and even the person that I'm, I'm providing the commentary on could see that positive element of themselves and create more of that you know in a in a in a more positive manner uh how many times did i say positive i've completed this task please click next to continue so i had to put a bit of a cut here because there is just so much information to take in regarding this 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 uh this assessment here what this assessment did was it took my my self ratings and compared it to thousands of others regardless of sex or uh, or age and uh, it gave me uh, the results on five major traits, which are agreeableness, uh, which include compassion and politeness, a conscientiousness, which includes industriousness and orderliness, extroversion, uh, which includes enthusiasm and assertiveness, uh, neuroticism, which includes withdrawal and the volatility and openness to experience, which includes openness and intellect, right? And so on agreeableness, I got high, which is something that I saw coming from a mile away because I'm a very, I tend to be very agreeable. Um, it talks about how I, agreeable people can be a little bit more naive, which is who has been feedback that's been given to me because I am generally very trusting. And because I am so trusting, I can uh, trust someone who may not have my best interests in mind or the best interests for other people in mind. And so I, I'm aware of that. Uh, uh, but uh, and that also comes in tow with you know my compassion being high. I tend to want to help people. I tend to want to uh, figure things out, and and uh, and I tend to offer an ear to people. You know, and uh, this this tends to put me in situations where I uh, am a little bit too giving. You know, a little bit too generous, and uh, I end up ending I end up with less than than I I would say I deserve. Um, and then for politeness, I you know I'm just the average polite person really honestly uh, that's what it says here just you know i'm not i'm just not uh i'll fucking fucking tell someone if i need to do if if i don't like something i'll be like yo stop i i can i can be like yo shut the fuck up you know uh this is this one was a really crazy one uh con conscientiousness exceptionally low and and uh, in reading it it's it's very obvious very very obvious you know i'm second percentile man like that means that i'm fucking like like at first when i read this i was like am i fucking stupid Am I, am I dead? <laughs> it doesn't mean that. It just means that, like, essentially, I'm just very disorganized and I get distracted very, very easily. And, uh, and um, you know, uh, I, it says also says that I'm free of guilt and shame, which I am. I, I don't really feel guilty. I don't walk around with a lot of guilt. Uh, I, I just kind of live very freely. Um, but this can have its drawbacks in the sense that, you know, I'm not as organized. Uh, and I, um, you know, it says something about, there's something it says about, uh, um, you know, of something about cleanliness uh, uh and uh, uh they're completely unconcerned with cleaning that is that is that's i, I don't think that's true i'm definitely concerned with cleaning i don't like being in, in a pigsty but anyway it's it's a variety of things and plus a lot of these a lot of these 
these like ratings, they, you know, they all, they, you can't just take one. You can't just take conscientiousness and be like exceptionally low. And oh my God, I'm the fucking worst. Like I'm clearly a dumbass. Like I'm not motivated. No, there's so many other things you have to, it, the, your conscientiousness, conscientiousness is affected by your agreeableness and, 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 and so on and so on. So, so the other things that come into play. So it says industry industriousness is exceptionally low for me. Uh, I'm mean, the zero zero like like you are less industrious than 99 of 100 people that's fucking crazy man that is insane for me i was like holy shit um i'm not apparently it just means that i'm not judgmental to myself and to others which is true and i tend to let people off the hook because uh, i just i just assume that you know people are going through a lot of shit and and people do stupid fucked up things when they're you know when they're in a st stupid fucked up places um and uh and i it also mentions that i have a whatever whatever will be will be attitude in life and at the end of the day it kind of does make sense because whenever i viewed any kind of social situation i've been like look this would have happened uh regardless of me being here or not at this point because i the, you know there's so many other factors at play you know the only you the only direct control you have over anyone is 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 yourself you know and uh and uh, that's that's how I've kind of gone through life. I don't expect to control other people. So if I can't control other people, or can't, or someone does something stupid that I disagree with, I just it's like fuck it, whatever, you know. Like that's just the way it is, uh, which could be a problem or not, but whatever. Um, then there's a uh, uh, orderliness, which is low. Uh, people who are low in order, orderliness don't care for routine and predictability, which is very true. I mean, I fucking I being in a part of a routine would be really fucked up, but. I do need some form of a schedule because clearly if I had a schedule and I held myself to it, I would probably get a lot more work done. And, uh, and yeah. Um, <clears throat> so there's that, you know, and I, I, in terms of, uh, it says, it also mentions here that I can, however, tolerate the mass disruption and intervening periods of chaos that may accompany creative. Yeah, I can tolerate them. Yeah, definitely. That's true. It's totally true. Honestly, this, this, this test really kind of like nail pretty much, you know, with, with everything, in conjunction with everything about me, it's really interesting. Really, really interesting. I'm gonna have to keep this. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to this. I'm gonna read this again after recording this video. Um, extroversion exceptionally high. I mean, we all saw that coming. Like, <laughs> I'm a pretty a pretty extroverted person. I uh, I tend to put myself in front of people, and uh, I'm I'm very enthusiastic about shit. So enthusiasm is exceptionally high. Uh, I I it's it mentions right here. It says. They laugh or giggle to a remarkable degree, and I do laugh or giggle to a remarkable degree. In fact, one of the things that I'm known for is my laugh. <laughs> People like me for my laugh, and, uh, and that's it. So, uh, so that's a, that's 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 the thing that I'm pretty I'm pretty self aware of. Um, I'm self aware of all this stuff when I when you read when I read about it. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense, you know. Um, assertiveness high. And this is why I, you know, when I was reading about uh, the, the whole bit there up there about agreeableness, uh, I, I did, I disagreed with the fact that I would, you know, I'm just someone that will just like, you know, hide his opinions or stuff like that. No, I like, if I need to be assertive, I'll be fucking assertive. And, and that's just the way it is. You know, um, yeah, I just, I, I don't want to have to deal with bullshit, you know, eroticism more moderately low. So neuroticism is pretty much just, uh, uh, you know, it's negative traits, you know, the shit that the shit that, you know, uh, that relate to like fear, anxiety, you know, being irritable, sadness, pain, all that shit. And uh, I'm, I'm moderately low, which is good. And uh, um, uh, for in terms of withdrawal um, is typical or average. So uh, I tend to I do tend to withdraw from situations sometimes just because I feel like people are super fucked up. So I just want to do it be on my own. Um, but then I'll generally gravitate to other people who I feel are doing what I want to do more of. Uh, and that's kind of how I kind of, you know, chill. Um, and, uh, but yeah, no, for the most part, I'm able to kind of just be, be chill. For volatility, I was rated low and this is no surprise to me. I'm kind of pretty, uh, I'm a pretty chilled out person. It's kind of hard to, to vex me. In order to vex me, you really got to fuck up. Like you really do. And, and people are always trying to bait me into shit. And I just don't ever bite because I just don't have time for their bullshit. So, so yeah, that's kind of why I, 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 I'm, I'm a lower there. Um, uh, there's just, there's a lot more to it, but yeah, pretty much makes sense. Openness to experience moderately high, you know? Yeah. I'm just a guy that's open to experiences. Like I'm, I'm like, this is, I'm chill. I'm like, I, don't know, I keep saying I'm chill. I'm just saying I'm chill about, you know, 
I'm I'm down. I'm down to like learn more. I'm down to like see what's out there. And uh and I think that that's uh that I think that's that's something I've always been aware of. Uh it says that they have a broader and deeper vocabulary. I you know, I have had a, a deeper vocabulary than than I would say a bunch of my friends, but for the most part it could be a lot lot deeper. Uh, I could be reading more. Um uh they can think and learn quite quickly, which is cool. It's true. I have been able to learn quickly. It's just I need to be engaged. That's pretty much it. I just need to be engaged and I'm good to go. Like if I can if I find something that's really fucking cool, we're good. Uh intellect typical or average? So, yeah, I'm pretty pretty average. I've always thought this has been pretty straightforward. I never I've never viewed myself as someone who's super fucking smart. I've just viewed myself as someone that, you know, is just down to uh uh is is down to kind of figure shit out for himself and for other people. And uh, I like I like more direct routes. So if someone can already provide me the information, if people can simplify things for me and kind of just hook me up with the information, I'm down. Uh, otherwise, if I really need to look for it, I'll look for it. But but I tend to take the easier route. Um, <clears throat> openness, high, high and openness. The closest synonym synonym for openness, rather than openness to experience, which encompasses openness and intellect, is creativity. Highly open and creative people love beauty. They need an outlet for their creative ability. Or they have difficulty thriving. Yeah, I need an outlet from a creative ability. I've always said, like, if I don't have YouTube or if I don't have anything where I can just kind of, like, have fun on, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. I need, I need creativity in my life. It's just the way it is. Highly open people can be impractical and flighty, however, um, especially uh, if I'm low on uh, conscientiousness. It can, be extreme, it can be extremely difficult to transform creativity into money or into a career. High levels of openness are furthermore necessary for entrepreneurial success and uh, often prove useful at the top of hierarchies, even in very conservative occupations such as banking, accounting, and law, which need creative people in leadership positions to provide new vision and direction. So pretty much it's just insane. Like, I got to be on top. Pretty much what I got from this whole thing is that I got to be the guy. I got to be the big shot, okay? I got to be the guy that, that makes the calls, all right? I need minions doing my shit for me, okay? I need a secretary. I need a cleaning lady. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to cook for me. I need some all this shit while I do all my stuff, okay? So, if you're feeling up to the task, you want to clean for me, you want to cook for me, you want to, you know, you want to be my secretary. You know, not, not you don't need to be all three. You know, we I, we can have multiple people do it. I don't have a lot of money to offer you right now at the moment, but it'll be there in the future. So, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Listen, if you did appreciate this, feel free to go ahead and just uh, and just and just hit that sub button if you if you fell upon this. Uh, uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. For those of you guys that are returning, uh, I hope that you guys uh, understood a little bit more about me. And and yeah and yeah 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 yeah. I I don't want to get too into the, the into the weeds with what whatever was presented here, but I'm gonna read this later on and uh, and uh, and and understand a little bit more about myself. This was definitely a pretty cool test to do. Uh, <laughs> I got fucking murked in, 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 in conscientiousness, though. Murked. <laughs> totally destroyed. Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one. Bye-bye.